blessings to you. I pray that you are well and uh, that God has kept you stable, strong and strengthened like he has for me. I have a word for us and um, uh, you know I've said before that I'm spending a lot of time now in personal retreats and this is because I I've realized that this is the best place to be, the place where you really just deeply commune with God through His Spirit. And so I pray that that same thing comes upon you and that you are able to give yourself time with the Father through His Spirit and just enjoy that koinonia and, you know, that place where deep calls unto deep. So today I just want to share a message that the Father has given me and this message is for all those that know that God has called them to be in the front line of the end time army. And you know, it's, it's, you've been in preparation. The Lord says we've been in preparation. So I'm going to speak to you, but I'm also receiving the same message. Uh, so when I refer to you as you, it doesn't mean that I'm exempted. I will also speak to myself through this message as it comes straight from the Holy Spirit. I will allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. And, and, and I, I pray that uh, our hearts will be open to receive that which he has for us today so you know what the Lord says I am preparing to lift you higher I am taking you to a place where you've never been before I am leading you to a path where glory is just you know my glory will always be all over you I am leading you to a place where you do my work with ease and without struggle I am leading you to a place where you depend on my spirit for everything for every direction for every instruction I'm leading you to a place where very few can withstand the heat yes the heat there is heat in that place why because as God leads you into this place the Lord says it is a place Place where you will feel like you are in a furnace you will feel like the way Daniel and his friends felt when they were thrown in that furnace because there is too much heat what is God saying God is saying that this is the place where I want the spatial ones to release themselves to me so that I can begin to pull out the things that will hinder them in the next move of God God is saying this is a place where deep calls unto deep where those who know that they are carrying a special assignment because I've revealed it to them myself will begin to let go of all other things. They'll begin to let go of religion. They will begin to let go of religious beliefs. They will begin to let go of traditions and beliefs and wrong doctrines and teachings that did not come from the Holy Spirit. The Lord says that this is the place where there is a deep 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 mind renewal that is going to happen to many because God is saying you cannot be conformed to the ways of the world and you cannot be conformed to the standards of the world the Lord says it is a place where I'm making many shed off what they knew in the past season I'm making many shed off the beliefs that they inherited from those who taught them I'm making many shed off the wrong patterns of doing ministry the wrong patterns of praying are making many shed off zeal that comes from your spirit it comes from your soul and not from the spirit of God because you know the word of God says it's not by might or by uh, by power but by the spirit of God the Lord was showing me that many have been doing ministry they've been doing what they've been called to do using their own strength using their own ability and the Lord said to me it's been a season the season that is past was a season where many did a lot of things that were programmed a lot of things that left no room for the Holy Spirit and God is saying to us that this is the hour when the Holy Spirit is taking over again and he's preparing a people for himself that will embrace the ministry of the Holy Spirit once again the Holy Spirit was born 
boxed. The Holy Spirit was put in a corner in the past seasons where people just did whatever they did without consulting with him, without knowing the heart of the Father, where people arranged for uh, you know different kinds of activities, different kinds of programs without actually seeking the face of God. And those are the things that the Lord is saying are coming to a grinding halt because I am bringing my remnant into a place where they will never do anything without seeking the face of of God and without hearing from him the Lord says what is in my heart in this hour I'm also depositing in the heart of these special ones because he wants that people he wants a people who will walk with him who will manifest him not just by words but even by actions that when the rest of the world begins to see you they see Jesus in you they see a man that is full of the spirit and that's why you are in the furnace the Lord says I've already brought many to this place where I'm doing a deep, deep work of purification because, you know, the, in the previous season, the Lord says the church was caught up in a lot of things that were not of God. The church was caught up in competition. There's been so much competition within the body of Christ. There's been so much haughtiness. There's been so much lying about one another. There's been so much slander. There's been so much evil talk rumors, malicious talk, accusation, infighting. And you know what? The Lord says, a house divided can never stand. And that's why it's been so difficult for many to come up together in unity and pray in unity to birth the revival. So God is saying in this hour, I am dealing with these things and especially in those that must carry my glory, the glory carriers, those that God wants to use to carry signs, wonders, miracles, those that God wants to use to demonstrate his power must be ready to allow his spirit to pull out all these things that are hidden within the heart. The Lord says that if we allow him to do this, then the next season will be even more wonderful because the church will work with ease. The church will work with the Holy Spirit, hand in hand with the Holy Spirit. Remember Psalm 139, you can read it. Psalm 139, 23 and 24 says, Search me, O Lord, and see, test my heart and see if there's any offensive way, if there's any wicked way. We cannot see what is in our hearts, but God knows. And he says, this is a season that I'm doing heart surgeries. This is a season that I'm putting many to a place where I can do a heart surgery. I'm revealing them to them. God is revealing you to you. He is bringing his spirit to you and the spirit of God is a mirror and you're beginning to use him to see what is in your heart. He's using his word to minister to you to see those things that have hindered you from flowing in power. God says to us that in the previous season, Many were caught up in doing ministry for self-gain. Many were doing ministry for self-glorification. Many were doing ministry just because they want to be seen, popularity and fame. But now I'm dealing with those things. The Lord says, I'm dealing with the love of money in this hour. I'm dealing with the love of money in this hour. I'm dealing with the love of life in this hour. I'm dealing with the pride of life, the lust of the eyes in this hour. Anything that has led you away from God, God is dealing with it now. You know, sometimes when you have left God, because God can't leave you, but you can leave him because sin comes in the way and you allow things that are idols to come in the way of your relationship with God. And that's the point where you find it so difficult to commune with God. Yes, it happens. It happens even to the greatest. There comes a season when if you have done things the way you choose to do them, if you have done things the way your soul and your flesh is leaving you, if you have done carnal things, then it means that it's very difficult for you to commune with God. Carnality cannot commune with the Spirit of God. And God says to us, this is the season that I'm dealing with the roots of carnality. I'm dealing with haughtiness. I'm dealing with pride. I'm dealing with that spirit of gossip, that spirit of backbiting, that spirit of slander that has caused so much division within the body. The Father is allowing this to happen now when he has put us in those special 
places of isolation, not that, you know, not the, not, not the COVID isolation, but when you choose to isolate yourself in the secret place, that's where this is going to happen. And the Lord took me to the book of Isaiah 6. You know, it says in the year King Uzziah died, I saw the glory of God. And if you read it further, it talks about Isaiah confessing and saying, I'm a man of unclean lips and I live amongst the people of unclean lips. And then an angel is sent with a fiery coal on his lips to purge him. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's saying, I'm purging the mouth of many because the mouth has led many to sin. I'm purging the hearts because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So whatever is coming through the mouth is in the heart. And so God is allowing a deep breaking, a deep breaking. And those that are experiencing this are beginning to feel the heat and wondering, what is God actually doing with me? But God is saying, I'm preparing you to carry my glory. I'm preparing you to lead my people. I'm preparing you to demonstrate my power, but you will demonstrate it in humility. Because the minute you begin to walk in this kind of sign and wonders that are not common when you begin to walk in the miraculous and things are beginning to happen in your ministry and yet God has not dealt with these things then these things are going to obscure they're going to hinder God from being seen and it's only you that will be seen and God has to be seen in all these things God is the center of it all. So the Lord is saying to us that this is a season of deep purification. I am purifying. I am cleaning up the streams, the rivers, so that out of your belly will flow rivers of life and not contaminated rivers, not impure rivers, not rivers that are carrying bitterness or anger towards another brother or another sister. The Lord is saying this is the season. I'm also dealing with the spirit of holier than thou. There are those who are felt they are better than the others. They are felt more righteous. And God says, how can I use you in evangelism if you feel better than the rest? If you feel like those that are out there that haven't known me yet are too filthy. And because of what you're wearing on the outside, you feel more qualified. Because of your outer look, you feel more qualified. And the Lord says, now is the season that I'm revealing to you that I've got to deal with you from the inside so that praises can begin to come out of the inside of you. The Lord is saying, I don't want any more lip service. I don't want my people to serve me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. And that's why I'm allowing a breaking. So there are certain situations that you're going to be feeling as an individual, personal situations that you're going to feel, to encounter in this season. And those situations, God is going to use them to break you even further. You thought you're broken, but the Lord says, I want to break you even more. I want to break you even more because it's only a broken vessel that can release fragrance into the atmosphere. It's only when the alabaster was broken that there was a fresh fragrance in the atmosphere. And the Lord says, this is the season that I need those that have called to take up special assignments to let go of all the things that were ever done to them, to let go of those wrong mindsets. I'm pulling them out of those things myself and I'm drawing them closer by my spirit so that I can speak to them and they can hear what I have to say. The Lord says we are coming into the season when we will receive divine strategies. We will receive the blueprint on how to do ministry effectively in this perilous hour because the season has completely and totally changed. Things are not the same way they were before. So God says those that are obedient will, re will receive strategies straight from the throne room of God. They will know what to do in this hour to serve God more effectively and to equip the saints for the near return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, because Jesus Christ is coming back soon. He is, and we have got to be made ready. The Lord said, for you to carry my glory, you must allow me to remove everything that is an old story within you. Anything that hinders the pipes, anything that is clogging your pipes, anything that is hindering the water from flowing must begin to come out of you as you surrender to me. So this is a season that the Lord is actually saying, I need more surrender. The breaking point that I'm bringing you to is supposed to lead to your breaking out. Yes, so when you begin to feel like, oh my God, I've done it by myself, by my might, with my strength in those all, in all, all on, on the, in the previous years, 
The Lord is saying, now is the time that is calling you to depend on his spirit. He is the one that will teach you some things that you need to know. He is the one that will give you understanding. He is the one that will show you what will work for you and what will not work for you. He's saying, it's not a time to imitate what another person is doing. That is not what God is calling us to do. He's saying, I want to release to you your unique blueprint so that you will begin to do my work according to how my spirit is showing you and not according to what another person is doing. The Lord says that he's setting a standard for those that will do a special assignment. And that standard is a standard where you must be close to the Holy Spirit. You must be a friend to the Holy Spirit. You must know the heart of the Father through the Holy Spirit. That's what God is doing. And so if you're in that place, I believe now you understand. If you feel like the breaking is becoming more intense, believe you me, our present suffering cannot be compared to the glory that is coming. So whatever it is that has put you in that place where you feel, God, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. This is a bit too much. The Lord is saying, just surrender to me. Surrender to me. Keep surrendering. Paul said, Apostle Paul said, I surrender daily. And this is what the Lord is telling the church now. You must surrender daily. You will realize it by my spirit that today is a day of surrender. Tomorrow is a new day of surrender. And the Lord says, as you do this, you'll begin to realize that your mind is opening up for Christ to infuse it with his thoughts, that you will not carry the wrong thoughts. You will not carry the wrong mindset. You will not be the one that will be used by the enemy to attack brethren against brethren. The Lord says, this is a season where I'm refining many so that they can carry my love and that they can carry my presence wherever they go. And that people will begin to see that this is not just an ordinary man. This is a man of God. This is a woman of God because they are carrying God. Hallelujah. That's what God is doing. So Father, I thank you for this word. And I thank you because of what you're doing. Thank you for the special grace that you're releasing unto many in this hour so that you can be able to prepare us. You can be able to make us ready for the assignments that are in store for us. Thank you, my Father, for you are strengthening us by your spirit. And thank you, my Father, because you're causing us to go up. You're causing us to come up higher so that we can receive secrets from you. The Lord says... This is also a season where revelations are flowing from the sacred place. A lot of revelations. The Lord is saying, I'm beginning to reveal so many things to my people, things they've never heard before, things they have never heard from the ears of men. I'm releasing it into their ears so that they can share with the rest. And the Lord says, it's a time of encounters. So as you go deeper, you will begin to have encounters with the Lord. And through these encounters, you will receive revelation. You will receive treasures, treasures of darkness. God is going to give you secrets that you will use to fight effectively in your warfare. You are not going to operate by the stale milk. You're not going to operate by stale doctrines. You're going to operate by revelation. So I believe that God is speaking to somebody today that it is you I have chosen. It is you I have handpicked in this season to pour into your spirit revelations that will be necessary for my people. God is saying that this is the hour that you must spend time with him to know him. When you know God, then you remain strong. But people who do not know God, they become weak very easily when sufferings increase. So God is bringing us to the place where we will know him intimately. We will know him as a father, a good, good father. There is nothing like knowing the Lord like Abba. There is nothing as good as knowing the father as daddy. That is the place where you have come into intimacy with him, that you feel free to call him daddy. You feel free to say, Abba, I can't. Abba, I'm overwhelmed. We are coming out of religion. You know, religion makes you believe that only a special people can be able to commune with God like this. Religion makes you believe that you have to have some special garments so that you can hear God. Religion makes you believe that you cannot actually hear God. You need somebody else to hear God for you. But God is saying, I'm breaking that spirit of religion from my people so that they can begin to meet with me intimately. I long to meet with them says the Lord. That's for you. That's for you. Now know that God is sending an invitation for you to come closer, for you to go deeper, and for you to rise higher. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. I love you and I'm praying for you.